Hey guys, let's talk about placements. I'm gonna share my screen with you so you can see I've got a placements slideshow to show you. Okay, first let's, I'm gonna introduce myself. Let's see if this is getting gonna work. One second. I'm Caitlin Sosby. I'm a doTERRA leader and wellness advocate. I've been doing the business with doTERRA for right on three years now. Um, I love being able to work from home and stay with my kids. I've got a three-year-old and an almost two-year-old. Um, my husband's an Air Force um, pilot and we're moving around all the time and it's really just the best job um, for our situation because when he moves, I move um, and my don't have to start over my job every time um, we leave we leave an area uh, goodness we've lived in four states in the last two and a half years it's it's been insane uh, and doTERRA is perfect um, for this lifestyle um, if you don't know who I am go check out uh, my blog uh, the pricklypilotswife.com you can meet me there's recipes uh, DIY all kinds of different things for essential oil and military life what we're going to talk about here in this class is placements. When you enroll someone, you have 14 days to move them. And we're going to kind of talk about all the different things that you need to take into account when you're wanting to move someone in your organization. So first things first, how to enroll. <laughs> you're going to enroll people as either a wholesale customer or a wellness advocate. A wholesale customer and wellness advocate are almost the same thing. Uh, they have a lot of the same privileges. Um, the difference is that a wellness advocate is someone who is pursuing the business. Um, you can place people under wellness advocates, and wellness advocates are eligible for commission, and they're going to have to put in their tax ID when they enroll. Um, but if you're a wholesale customer, at any time you can go in and upgrade for free to wellness advocate. Um, and we'll go into a little bit more details a little bit further along in this. So when they enroll, you're going to have to choose between wholesale customer and the wellness advocate. You'll also have to put in an enroller ID and sponsor ID. Um, the enroller ID, if you're sending them to your site, your mydoterra.com, your enroller ID should autofill. Um, and if, when you're enrolling them, just go ahead and just put those numbers in, um, and you're still going to have that 14 days to move them. Um, but let's talk about the difference between enroller and sponsor. This is very important terms to know when you're doing placements or understanding commissions. I'm Caitlin, uh, Paige is on my front line, um, and I am her enroller. So if I enroll Paige, I am her enroller. Um, and because she's on my front line, she is directly beneath me. I am also her sponsor. So next example, I enrolled Jamie, so I am her enroller, but I have placed her under Paige, so Paige is her sponsor. Kind of get it? It's, it's not... Too, too difficult. So um, the first thing that we're getting paid for um, in doTERRA is Fast Start Bonus. And this actually only has to do with enrollership. This doesn't have to do with the sponsorship. And the sponsorships are more of what we're caring about when we're doing placements. But I think it's still important that you understand how enrollerships work. Um, and when you place someone further down in your organization, you're not losing that enrollership. Um, you're just changing the sponsorship. So the enrollership is gonna be the same no matter where you place people in your organization. If you enroll someone, you get 20% of any of their orders, the PV of their orders in their first 60 days that they're enrolled. Um, if, so if I enroll someone, then um, I get 20%, and if the person, and then when I enroll someone, the person that enrolled me gets 10%, the person enrolled them gets 5%. You can kind of see how that works out. Um, and for all of these commissions that we talk about today, you have to run a 100 PV LRP every month to be eligible for commissions or in the month that you want to make commissions. So there are three different things that we're going to go over as main considerations that we need to take when we're making a placement. Power of three, unilevel, and rank. So power of three. 
power of three is when you and three people on your front line that you sponsor, so this all has to do with where someone is placed in your organization, um, if all four of you run a 100 PV LRP, plus the entire team volume of you plus everyone on your front line equals at least 600 PV in that month, then you're gonna get a $50 bonus. If those three people on your front line earn their 50 power of three, you earn a $250 bonus. And if those nine people earn their power of three, you get a $1,500 bonus. So when we're making placements, we need to always keep power of three in mind. Okay, is this person gonna be running LRPs, um, which we want everybody to be running LRPs. <clears throat> So we need to think about, okay, are they going to be running these orders um, and where can we place them to either earn power of three for ourselves or help other people earn their power of three? So you need three of these 100 LRP in your front line to get that 50 bonus, but it's always a good idea to have four just in case because things come up and sometimes people don't run a 100 PV LRP every single month. And so it's a good idea to have a fourth as a backup. The second thing that we're going to take into consideration is Unilevel. So in doTERRA, if you don't know how the compensation plan works, I'm not going to go into super detail because this is a placements class, not a compensation class, but <clears throat> we need to take into consideration how the compensation works. So here we go. If, say, um, you are an elite, okay, you've got 3,000 in volume and you're running those 100 PV LRPs every month, that's how this chart works right here, um, you make on that front line after the 60 days. So we talked about the fast start bonus where you're making that 20, 10, or 5% of all their orders for their first 60 days. After those 60 days, it's going to shift into unilevel commissions, okay? So after those 60 days, the people on your front line, you're going to get 2%, 2% of all their orders. That level two, you're going to get 3%. Level three, five, and then you can see how it goes to five and six and six and then seven. You can kind of see how it goes further down. This is actually opposite of most MLM or network marketing companies. Most companies have the higher percentages higher up. They want you to keep a real tight organization. doTERRA likes it for it to be a deep organization, and this is definitely to our benefit. I'll show you my tree in just a minute. And if you had to decide who you got 7% on, you'd be choosing further down in your organization because there's a lot more people further down than um, right there on your front line. So when you're doing placements, you need to make sure now in doTERRA, you can only get paid as far as seven levels. Um, technically more with dynamic compression, but you never ever want to place further down than seven um, levels because you don't want to risk ever losing commissions on the people that you enroll. Um, so you're going to be um, placing those people within the seven levels. Also take into consideration what rank you're currently at. If you're an elite really, really struggling to hit from here, I probably wouldn't be placing people on my seventh level um, because you're not getting paid on that seventh level yet. You want to keep people closer if possible. Um, those wholesale customers, um, they're probably your users, um, not the ones sharing and building the company. Um, and so you want to place them a little bit further down because they're not enrolling people. You can't place people underneath them. You want to place them further down your organization so that you can get a higher percentage off of the orders that they're making. Now, if someone's a wellness advocate and they're actively building, the, pursuing the business, or even if they're just sharing actively, you're going to want to hold them a little bit closer up to you because if they're on level seven, if you put a builder right on level seven and they build a huge organization, you might not get any commissions on that entire organization. And that's not good. So if you know someone's going to build, keep them as close to you as possible. Um, and that's one of the really cool things about the new wholesale customer option is that if someone's been a wholesale customer for at least 90 days and then upgrades for free to wellness advocate, you're going to get after 90 days, you're going to get an additional 14 days to move them. And that's when I really draw them in closer to your front line. Um, so th this is just the second thing that we're going to take into consideration is those, that unilevel, how far we're getting paid down, whether someone's a builder or a user share. 
So you can see here, there are more people on the second line, right? So we wanna get 3% on that line and then 2% on that front line. This is a little snapshot of part of my tree. Um, you can see again how we really want it. it sometimes it's kind of sad in the beginning <laughs> when you get just like a $10 check from doTERRA and you're like, really, a $10 check um, for Unilevels? Because you're just getting those 2% at first. Um, but I promise it pays, it really, really pays off in the end because now you have a big tree with hundreds of people and where are most of those people? They're down in levels five through nine. And um, those are the levels that with dynamic compression, I'm getting paid on a little bit further, further down in my organization. And it really, really works out that we're getting paid with that upside down um, tree that from what most network marketing companies do. Now, how do we actually move people? Um, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna log in, you're gonna click on team, and then you're gonna click on sponsor changes. And then you're gonna change the sponsor. You put in the sponsor ID of the person that you want your new enrollee to be directly under. Sponsor ID, new person. You verify and confirm. Little details you should know, 14 days. You have 14 days to move a wholesale or wellness customer. If a wholesale customer has been enrolled for at least 90 days, and then upgrades for free to wellness advocate, you have an additional 14 days to move that person. And then there's one more thing that I want you to take in consideration. So power of three, Unilevel, and then I want you to take it into consideration rank. So most people in doTERRA say that we should build elites because um, elites really build to all the other, all the other ranks. Um, I think you should also keep in mind Premier um, because you don't want just an elite can technically have a 3,000 volume all on the front line, um, but then you're not ready to hit Premier and you need to be ready to hit Premier too. So you're always kind of keeping a rank or two or three ahead in mind, um, but something I see in a lot of the mastermind groups is from people who've done this, all the leaders in doTERRA, uh, many of them say to um, really solidify a rank before moving on to the next one. So I'm pushing hard for platinum right now, um, and I'm not gonna start my fourth diamond leg until I'm, I'm a solid platinum. Um, some people would say I shouldn't do that, um, but I just, I, will, I really want to have a solid organization. So, I mean, I always say that you need to talk to your upline, um, your silver plus upline when you're, when you're making placements, um, if, if you've got some big questions. So, elite. So, elite is that 3,000 in volume in a month. Um, and why we say we build for elites is because three elites make a silver. So if you personally can hit that 3,000 organizational volume, all you have to do to hit silver is teach three other people how to make that 3,000 volume. And you know how to do it because you just did it. And then to make diamond, you just have to teach four people how to make silver, which you know how to do because you've already done it. You're just teaching people how to hit elite. So, um, and these are the brand new updated um, 2016 average earnings. These are just released um, March of 2017 at the Orlando Leadership. Um, I went ahead and threw them together. Um, these are so amazing. Can you, can you just imagine like from home, um, especially if you're new to this and you're not seeing these numbers yet, that I made silver within a year of starting with doTERRA. Gold within three, now I'm pushing for platinum within three, two. Um, and gosh, I'm, I'm actually slower than average on my growth. Um, and from home, as a stay-at-home mom that's moving all the time with my husband deployed, and I'm still um, being able to make this kind of income from home is just fantastic. These numbers are so real. Um, they're real because they've hit my bank account month after month. Um, and it's, it's just so amazing for my family. So if you've got any questions, please um, either message me or really talk to your Silver Plus upline or the person that enrolled you. Um, I still ask my enroller and people in my upline for placement um, ideas and help and I've been doing this for years. So um, thank you so much for listening in. I hope this helps you at least get started.
to know what you need to be taking into consideration when you're making placements. That's that power of three, unilevel, and rank. So thank you. Let's see. Okay.